it's kind of complicated. I text you every morning, every yeah. day. Did you eat? Did you sleep? How mm -hmm. is everything? Otherwise, it's gonna be super hard. I had so many friends, and few of them also like during pandemic just like left the country because it was kind of impossible. Hey everyone, in the previous video I asked foreign men about their insights on the dating scene in the Philippines. So a good follow-up video will be to ask the same type of questions to foreign women. So that's exactly what I'm going to do this time. I'm back in BGC and I'm interested to hear the insights of the woman this time. So let's go around and ask them. Okay. You can be closer and I can be a little bit further okay. away. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what's your name away from? Uh, my name is Alona. I'm from Ukraine. Okay, nice to meet you. So today's video is going to be about the dating scene in the Philippines. Uh, so what, uh, what is the dating scene like in the Philippines? I would say mostly people use here Tinder yeah. and Bamboo or something like that because mm -hmm. I heard from my friend. Yeah. Uh, I was sitting in Tinder quite a few times uh, when I was single. Mm. Honestly, Tinder just like if you want to find some fuck body. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Filipino guys for dating, uh, they probably, I will describe them like they will helpful, they're gonna be with you every time, they're gonna text you every morning, every yeah. day. Did you eat? Did you sleep? How mm -hmm. is everything? I would say some kind of women will like it and it's cool. Uh, some uh, kind of women will like get it and it's annoyed mm -hmm. because I was annoyed with like, Oh, don't ask me question. I just woke up. I don't want to talk to anybody. But they definitely are family oriented. Yeah. Most of the guy, Filipino guys here are family oriented and they gonna treat you like a queen if you want to be them queen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's your name? Bianca. Bianca. Okay, and you're from? I'm Brazilian. Okay, and how long have you been living here? I'm living here for five years. I think for the girls it's kind of complicated. I had so many friends and few of them also like during pandemic just like left the country because it was kind of impossible. Yeah. And like for the, I don't know, maybe the guys are too girly sometimes. Mm. I think for a guy it's easier than for a girl, I don't know, it's just yeah. my experience. I think, I think the dating scene here is really, it's fast because we have a lot of foreigners coming. Yeah. So can be like super passionate. and. Mm -hmm. Someone uh, wants to uh, marry you, but also there's a lot of foreigners coming and like traveling around, so yeah. it's also easy if you don't want this kind of commitment. So what's your name and where are you from? Um, my name's Winnie and I'm from, I'm from the, I live in the Philippines, but I'm from Taiwan. You know, to be honest, I'm actually thinking I'm not the best candidate because I, I dated my boyfriend since high school. Okay. So we're high school sweethearts. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, so maybe you can come on like what's something that you think is like typical Filipino when it comes to something that maybe you're not going to see in other cultures. Um, I think maybe family yeah. oriented, like um, you have to be very family oriented here in the Philippines. Meeting and approval of family is very serious in comparison yeah. to I say Western families. Right. It's not like a Western family, you make your own decisions, like it's really up to you to, you have the autonomy to be like, hey, I'm dating this person and your parents are like, yeah, I trust you to do that. A lot of Western families are like that, but like in Filipino families, it's like, mm -hmm. we have to love you in order for you to have, right. like to have the approval and to keep dating this person. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna be super hard. Like what's the big difference uh, when, when you compare to Brazil? Because the dating? what I feel in here is like everyone is looking for a wife. Or a, yeah. or a husband. Yeah. So in Brazil, it's not like that, and also we don't play. Yeah. So if you want something, you're gonna tell something, and yeah. that's it. There's no, there's less drama around, and I think we are more straightforward, like for the point. And mm -hmm. if you just wanna sex, I just wanna sex. If you want yeah. married, I'm. That's like we are more more clear about expectations. Yeah, I was gonna ask like, how is it any different from uh, the dating scene in Ukraine? You already mentioned a couple of points. But uh, maybe something else. Uh, it's not that much difference from uh, Ukrainian guys and Filipino guys. I will say they also like try to take care of the, uh, yourself, you yourself, and they also try to put you in the position that you are women. So you're doing your women job, 
-hmm. and I'm a man, I'm doing my man job, mm -hmm. uh, which is, uh, I would say, considered in Ukraine to be close to it, not 100% the same, but so close to it. But in terms of Western uh, guys, it's just such a different because Western mentality, uh, like uh, North American mentality, it's more about like, we are partners. Mm -hmm. So you providing, I'm providing, we are team together. We yeah. are making team together. Mm -hmm. And here is this guy like, don't worry, be at home. <laughs> pops up babies and I'm gonna do everything okay. for you and as I say like for some women it's cool I would say maybe for definitely 50% of women will be like oh cool like I can sit at home I can be a woman mm -hmm. and I can do whatever I want but for some women just like oh I also have career yeah. I also want to be uh, successful I don't want to fucking sit at home yeah. like I can pop up this baby for you but you're gonna sit with them <laughs> Okay, so but do you have experience with Filipino guys or? No, my uh, best friend she is married a uh, Filipino guy, and I remember that when I saw him, I was just like mm, so concerned, so concerned. Okay. But later, <laughs> when I knew story how they met and uh, when he didn't do usual Filipino stuff to her, mm. so uh, one of the story which he brought is like they driving somewhere, and she's asked him, "Can we stop to 7-Eleven? I need to buy a load." Mm. She expected, yeah. which is most of the time gonna be like that, that he gonna come with her and he gonna pay for her load. Mm. But he's just like, okay, go, mm. buy a load by yourself. And needs, I think what, whereas he uh, let her know that you're not gonna use me because it's also, unfortunately, some of the women can uh, take position of these guys to use them yeah. for something, for better life without yeah. like actual have feelings. And it's very, uh, I would say, a little bit concerned for Filipino guys because they easily can be used. They, you should keep, you still should keep in mind. Yes, you should uh, treat your woman as a queen and everything. Mm -hmm. But are you sure that it's your queen? Mm -hmm. Are you sure that she's seen you as a king? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Have you dated Filipina Filipinos? Before? I did. I did. Yeah. I did. Few of them. Few of them are kind of they are looking for a wife. Yeah. <laughs> and it was not time not my timing. Okay, okay. <laughs> so it was like kind of I had a kind of a bit of drama. Yeah. And people calling you, it was like just don't call me. They're good with commitment. Yeah, um, they are really looking for commitment and they are like really passionate. Yeah. But I think they are looking for commitment with every single person. Like yeah. just Sure. Would you be as interested in dating a Filipino as like a foreigner or not? If I'm a foreigner, okay. Uh, I'm like, a would you be as interested in dating a Filipino guy as you are in uh, dating a foreigner? Of course, it's not about like Filipinos or not Filipinos. It's yeah. just because here I found this kind of commitment more stronger than the other countries. Right. But I don't have a problem uh, okay. about it. So we just see a lot on the street is like, uh, like a foreigner guy with a Filipino girlfriend, but you don't yeah. see it really like the other way around, like a foreign woman with like a Filipino guy. What do you think that is? I feel like it, it's ingrained in social cultures. Yeah. I feel like a lot of females, maybe because of social culture and what we see online, mm -hmm. maybe women gravitate towards these Western cultures because yeah. they like um, the independence that Western people have, mm -hmm. or like you kind of just glamorize that yeah so that's why you do see a lot of foreign guys with uh, Filipina yeah. girls what do you think the opposite is not so much because uh, for example to me I'm like 170 I'm not that tall but yeah. the guys here they're like kind of small yeah like short and also mm -hmm. they're they are kind of uh, they are too feminine sometimes so depending on what you sorry, for feminine what? ah yeah like no beard like uh, kids face mm. So depends on what you are looking for or yeah. what do you like it. Mm -hmm. So for me, I don't, I don't think it's a problem. I just didn't find a, a right Filipino, maybe. Yeah. Is it, is it tough for you to, to date here in the Philippines? Since, uh, relatively speaking, there are not so many foreigners here in the Philippines? Uh, I would say now, after COVID, uh, done, finally. Mm -hmm. uh, now more foreigners uh, here, but most of the foreigners for now coming back, uh, they come in here for traveling, so they're not long term, yeah. uh, they're not looking for long term, uh, term relationship. Yeah. And during COVID it was the same because everybody who stayed here for a long time after a year being in lockdown and face mask mm -hmm. just left. So now, while well, one of my friends is searching for uh, for her love, yeah. uh, Tinder, uh, 
I just say YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. I will just go to the last question. So what, what's an advice you can give to a um, woman coming here? Foreign woman? I would say be open for every opportunity. Don't look at the Filipino people as a weak. They're not weak. They gonna If you will fall in love with some of them, you're going to be treated best ever you can imagine. Mm. Don't think that every foreigner here is going to treat you the same. Uh, and keep in mind that foreigners here, they're still foreigners here. Mm. Most of the time they ca came here for vacation. Yeah. And most of the time they came here just to have some fun. Right. Uh, and if you're really searching for a long relationship, don't search them in Tinder, don't yeah. search them in Bumble. Mm. Just find your people around, mm -hmm. uh, maybe through your community. Like I have a lot of my uh, Russian, Ukrainian uh, friends from Belarus. Mm -hmm. So who is meet Filipino people, go around, have fun on Poblacion. Yeah. Maybe in one moment you will find somebody. Don't put a lot of um, that, oh, he's the one in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. But also don't consider him like, oh, it's definitely not my type. Mm, right. he, can, uh, he can open for you from different side. You, like us, I will say, don't like the face, like the soul. Mm. Take a time to find his soul. Right. Okay, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so what's an advice you can give to foreign women coming here to the Philippines when it comes to dating? Uh, I think if you if you you can find everything here, like you can find like foreigners and Filipinos, so many nationalities, and yeah. also you can find what you are looking for. Like if you want just commitment, I think you can find commitment with the Filipinos most likely because the foreigners are like traveling. Yeah. And if you just have like fun, I think it's also easy yeah. to to have fun here. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. You know, I've watched nine. Do you guys watch Ninety Day um, Fiance? I don't watch it personally. Yeah. But. yeah. <laughs> One of the biggest tips about like uh, between like Western and like Asian cultures, etc., mm -hmm. is to really understand the cultural nuances and differences mm. in the culture, or yeah. else you're just not gonna get along. If you plan on dating somebody, you have to accept them wholeheartedly and like the differences that you have. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work because you have to understand that everyone grew up differently and the social society norms are different for each culture. So understand that and I think that you will have a flourished relationship. Right. Don't understand that, it's not gonna happen. Okay, yeah, nice, thank yeah. you. All right, so that concludes today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this video actually took three days to make since there are not a lot of foreign women here in the Philippines that can fit this topic. Most of the time you will see foreign guys dating Filipino girlfriends and not so much uh, foreign women dating Filipino guys. So for that reason it was pretty hard to make this video, but I'm happy that I did it. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing more of these type of videos, then you can check that one out where I go on the street and ask foreign guys about their experience dating Filipino women. Or you can check that one out where I asked about the Filipino culture and how important family is for uh, the Filipinos. So yeah, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.